got another assortment of questions on the amount of substance topic and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first okay so the moles of sodium hydroxide used concentration times volume in decimeters cubed so 0 0.0022 and then using the mole ratio we can get the moles of sulfuric acid that's going to be half as many 0 0.0011 and then to get the concentration of the sulfuric acid, it's the moles over the volume in decimeters cubed again, 0 0.0625 moles per decimeters cubed. Next part, what's the term given to the dot x H2O part of the formula? It's the moles of water of crystallization. Moving on to the last part, so the MR of this hydrated salt is 322.1. The mass of the sodium sulfate part is 142.1. So the dot XH2O part must have a mass of 180. Each H2O has an MR of 18, so 180 divided by 18 is obviously 10. Number two, so first thing we'll do is work out the moles of strontium nitrate, so mass over MR 0 0.025. So it's a two to five ratio for the strontium nitrate to gas. So to get the moles of gas, it's five over two times the moles of strontium nitrate 0 0.0625 and then to convert those moles to volume of gas at RTP we multiply the moles by 24 the molar gas volume and the answer is 1.50 decimeters cubed. Next question so the first thing we'll do is calculate the moles of borax that are going to be needed in this solution so the concentration times the volume 0 0.02 moles then we just need to convert to grams so it's moles times MR 7.62 to three significant figures. Number four, the moles of Na2B4O7 used is concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, so 0 0.0018. The moles of HCl used is going to be twice as many, so 0 0.0036. So the concentration of the HCl moles divided by volume 0 0.144 moles per decimeters cubed. And the final question, so the moles of sulfuric acid used concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, 0 0.00246. Moles of sodium hydroxide is going to be twice as many, that's 0 0.00492. That's the moles in 25 cm cubed, but we want to find out how many moles of sodium hydroxide are in the original solution, which is 250 centimeters cubed. So we just multiply this value by 10. So that's 0 0.0492 and then we convert that to grams by multiplying by the MR of sodium hydroxide. So that gives a mass of 1.968 grams of sodium hydroxide in that caustic soda. So the percentage by mass of sodium hydroxide in the caustic soda is the mass of sodium hydroxide over the mass of the sample, which was 2 grams, times 100, 98.4%.